Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where if I recall correctly, I think we were working on building buildings, right? I've actually kind of forgotten that this is exciting. It looks like there's basically nothing going on. I think we just fought off rebellions and we're planning on building buildings and consolidating, if I remember correctly. This guy wants a uh, council position. Okay, that's uh, not going to happen. Oh right, regency. We should definitely end the entrenched regency. So we're going to offer nothing here. Do we want to stiff her out of a just reward? Yeah, probably. We'll discharge her. She'll accept it 100%. And so we're no longer sharing power. Perfect. That does drop us down below our domain limit, which is not shocking. I was actually kind of shocked we were at 14, as it was. So we... She only has stewardship of 10? I thought we married someone with high stewardship. Hang on a moment. We can go for, say, Nana here. Cool. She's a little bit on the older side, but she would be specifically... Oh, 27. Hang on. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely out of sorts here. We're going to make her be our primary spouse. We just never made her our primary spouse. Okay. So that flips around. We do have too many holdings, which is not surprising. We expected to have too many holdings here. So we're going to grant out a couple of these, specifically these three. I want to hold Kulais right now. That'll be for the best because that makes us the most amount of money out of any of those castles, I think. Anyway, we're going to get some of these upgrades going. Some of these ransoms are fine, but those that are our vassals, those are not fine. We are certainly looking to consolidate our position here, and we need to keep our vassals in prison for the time being. So we'll get a hillside grazing land upgrading. You're a vassal, so no. You're a vassal, so no. You're a vassal, get out of here. If you're a vassal, you don't get ransomed. If you're not a vassal, I don't care. We'll take the gold. That would be fine. But for right now, this is what we've got to do. So we are on wealth focus because we want to get these buildings constructed, right? That is a rather high priority at this point, getting everything maxed out here. And I'm not planning on going back to war for at least a little bit here. We've got lots of time in this guy's life. We definitely have a dynasty legacy that we can do. We can grab bureaucrats and base progress and counselor skill impact on counselor tasks. Plus 10%. That's actually quite good. We'll take that. Speaking of counselor tasks, we've not been converting faith. We've also not been promoting culture, and we should probably be working on some of these things. So four and seven years, that's definitely much better. Get out of here with these ransom demands. Okay, cool. Now, one thing we could think about doing, potentially, is revoking this guy's title. What are the odds on that? Oh, he would accept it. Do it. So I want to get this title back under our control. There we go. And we are, of course, going to grant out this temple holding, and then we'll grant out Kulais here. So this is probably going to end up being less gold for us. It's disabled right now, but that'll get turned on soon enough. I do want to be working on increasing control. This is the only location we need to, right? Right. Okay, so we'll get that going. Once this turns back on, we'll see how much we actually make out of Bisha. I'm not sure that it's going to be a huge amount. That said, we could definitely make the argument of swapping the large hill fort here with blacksmiths. Which we'll do. We can also make the argument of swapping the training grounds with something like workshops, potentially, or hillside grazing lands. Probably workshops, ultimately. Let's look at these ransoms. Yes, we accept this one. No, we don't accept this one. Yes, we accept this one. No, we don't accept this one. We're invited to a hunt. Uh, I, I don't care about a hunt right now. So, no thank you on the hunt. Cool. Over in Sufina, of course, we're going to want to upgrade our militia camps. What else do we need to upgrade? Stables. Those are expensive. We'll get those going. 
So, I mean, we're making like 574 gold per month right now. That number can definitely be optimized. And apparently our wife is pregnant. Sure, that tends to happen. Cool. And apparently our wife is pregnant. That, uh, sure, that tends to happen. Especially when you have multiple wives. That tends to help in that regard. So we have an inactive accolade right now. We have first of the chamber, which I'm going to destroy. And then we have worthiest of the fairs, which I would like to deal with. I'd like to bring that in. We do have too few spouses right now, and we probably want to marry somebody. I guess pretty is fine here. There we go. We'll no longer have that problem. A lot of accolades are lacking successors, and we should probably do something about that. Any successors available here? Yes, but they're not serving as knights. I really wish we could make them serve as knights from here. There's so much space here to, to put the, the force serve as knight button. Eh. Okay, so we're looking for Fodl of Asaya. Okay. So we would need to come over here. And what do we got? This guy. So we force him to serve as a knight. Cool. So we've got a successor there. We can seek a worthy successor here. For the silver hand. For the Panther of Kulais, we have Hafiz of Al-Ula. Okay, let's look for him in the very extensive list. What do we got? He's probably in here somewhere. Here he is. Cool. So we will put him in right there. And then we've got the Ferris of the North Star. And we don't have a worthy accolade successor for him. Now, I want to... I guess we can deal with this gallant Ferris. No, he doesn't get Waj. Get out of here. Cool. So can we restore accolades? Not yet. Noted. This ransom is not acceptable. Okay. Over in Yanbu, of course, we're going to build a mustering hall. We'll get that underway. Beautiful. We need a lot of gold to get this all done. No doubt about that. So I do... I can see it's truly heartfelt. Cool. So we gained some piety out of that. That's absolutely great. So the silver hand we were searching for a successor for. And one has not popped in yet. As far as I'm aware, anyway. We can negotiate an alliance with this guy, and I guess we may as well. No reason not to. There we go. Cool. Cool. So we could definitely spend our gold. It would be on things that are not directly held by us. All of those are currently constructing. So it would be on things like this camel ring. Sure, that spends all of our gold. This guy can be appointed as the silver hand. Beautiful. So we're going to head over to our accolades and we'll put in a successor. Saud, okay. We'll need to force him to serve as a knight. Wait, I saw him there. Where are you at? There you are. Cool. So then we go into the silver hand, put in the successor there. Perfect. Now, unfortunately, we can't restore the worthiest of the fairies. Not yet. But we'll get there. I hope. Yes, it says it can be reinstated, but we don't actually have anybody that can reinstate that. The fairies of the North Star does need a successor as well. We can't seek a worthy accolade successor for that one just yet. Sadly. If only we could. But alas, the accolade system is very fiddly. There's no doubt about that. Very, very, very fiddly. So we're going to need to get some cast iron going here. Sure, that name is fine. Whatever you want, dear. Fantastic. Our acquaintance died. Oh, no. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. So Bisha we're making 15.9 out of. So yeah, that's actually better than Kulei's for us. I like it. I do want to swap over the training grounds over here as well. When is this going to be finished? Two months? Sure. We're finishing up a lot of our constructions. So over here in Ataif, I want to get a workshop going. And anything that makes us additional gold at this point is really the goal. Yeah, show this guy in. He'll not bring gold, but he does bring some renown. So that's fine. 
can send our child to university. Who is our current player heir? Our uncle still? We've only had female children. Okay. I'm sure that'll change. We do want to drop these barracks here in favor of putting in... I really think workshops would be the way to go here. Just for the taxes. And I mean, cultural fascination progress from workshops as well. So that's pretty good. I didn't actually realize that was in there. Yeah, do it. We get a new stewardship lifestyle perk. We'll grab golden obligations, of course. Let's see. We have a lot of wars we could declare. That's to be expected. Down over this way, I'm just... All of these are gold generating, so that seems fine. Desert agriculture would be the way to go. We do need to get additional constructions going, and we need a lot of gold for that. Mustering halls have been built in Sufina, and farrier's guilds have been constructed as well. We'll get militia camps going. Yep, militia barracks. These things are just really expensive to build, right? Incredibly expensive. But they're also incredibly powerful. Like, the amount of money that we're throwing around right now would have been unfathomable in the previous version of the game. For these upgrades. It's insane. Absolutely bonkers. How much money we're throwing around, but also how much money we have. Is it just me or is the game a little laggy right now? Not like Stellaris levels of laggy, but just like getting a couple of frame drops here and there. Interesting. Probably due to some awkward ticks going on. But whatever. We'll assign this guy as our steward. He is the most qualified, after all. And that'll be absolutely fine. Luckily, with Paradox Games, frame rate is not the most important thing in the world. <laughs> it just isn't. So we're going to head up over this direction. I'd love to get our blacksmith upgrading to level 8. That is, of course, going to boost our holding taxes by an additional 4% there. Cool. Cool. And again, I'd like to get blacksmiths going here. That's pretty expensive. We'll go for militia camps for now, just so that we have something constructing there. But our income is definitely going up. No doubt about that. But also our personal power is going up by a pretty dramatic amount. But yeah, I do want to get these upgrades going. Oh, right. We control this now. We don't want to be on Noblesse Oblige necessarily. We're going to go over to Standing Armies. Noblesse Oblige is still going to be here in three years. Standing Armies in 12. Hopefully soon after Rightful Ownership or Court Officials. Both would be good. Oh, our horse is apparently upset in its spaghetti. It could have been bad, but it wasn't. So that's good. We do need a new Marshal that is going to be... Get out of here. That is going to be this guy. Cool. Yep, that all looks absolutely fine. Can we actually restore accolades yet? No, we cannot. So that's not a thing that we that we can do just yet. I want to check in here to see if we can seek a worthy accolade successor. Not until the 3rd of May. That's actually not far away. We might want to just wait that one out. It's like less than a month at this point. Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to seek this worthy accolade successor as soon as we can. While we're waiting, I want to check in and make sure that these others all still have their successors. They do. Beautiful. So we'll seek this worthy accolade successor here. And then the question is, when can we restore accolades? This doesn't say when it's no longer on cooldown. So you can only do it once every five years. So in theory, it should be pretty soon, right? In theory. Sure, send in this guy in his 140 gold and 200 renown. That is wonderful. Over here in Yanbu, we're of course going to max out our blacksmiths. In K-Bar, we'll max out our blacksmiths as well. That's all looking good. Any other constructions to be done? Actually, yeah, we've got more blacksmiths to build, believe it or not. <laughs> it's very expensive to get this all maxed out, but I think it's super worthwhile. Over here in Medina, we can definitely build drainage channels. Someone was attempting to fabricate a hook. The horror. Not even on us, for the record. Not even on us. We found an accolade successor here for the Ferris of the North Star. Perfect. And that is Yusuf. Okay. Where are you at, Yusuf? That's Bennett there. Here he is. Beautiful. So we will put him in as the successor here. Excellent. So now all we need to do is reinstate the worthiest of the Ferris. 
So that'll be absolutely fine. We'll do that as soon as we can. The question is, when is this going to be available? And I have no idea the answer on that one. 1136 to upgrade that? Okay, sure. We'll get this militia camp going. Large plantations being built in Tihama. So, I mean, we've got a lot of work to do here yet, right? No doubt about that. This is fine. We'll take 10 gold. I think everything is currently constructing that we personally hold. Hang on. Something finished building in Tihama. Huh. Apparently it's not F in this game. For fine title. That's exciting. Fine title. It's... What is that hockey? V? Okay. I don't know why it's not F. There doesn't seem to be anything bound to F. Eh, it should probably be F. But whatever. We'll check here. Tihama. Right. That's right down here. I'm dumb. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. We'll upgrade our caravansary here. That's fine. Cast iron has been constructed, of course, up over here. So this is almost maxed out. All we need is a stable upgrade, and this castle will be maxed. Successor of the Ferris of the North Star. So we just had the Ferris of the North Star succeed. That's unfortunate. Now we need another successor here. <laughs> This is what I mean by this is just a very fiddly system. Apparently we're the honest, which is not terrible. We cannot restore accolades just yet, but I do want to get this stable going here. We have currently heavy cavalry stationed here. So yeah, this is going to be maxed out. These heavy cavalry are also then going to be maxed. That's wonderful. We get a new perk here and we'll take it is my domain. Wonderful. Now, where are my loyal subjects? How much are we going to get out of this? It's going to be a lot. Don't worry, I'll have everyone pay. 2,500. Not bad. So, we'll hop up over this way and get a blacksmith going. Cool. That's absolutely wonderful. We're going to be able to get all of these maxed out relatively swiftly as we make our way through this. Mecha is a ways away from being finished, of course, and... This is going to be... Bisha is going to be a very long ways away. Mecha finishes its construction. Let's go with... I think post mills here. I want those percent increases for now. Levying squares in Waj. So we would need to come up over this way and get another construction going here. And we can ransom this person. Do it. We'll take that 20 gold. Italian de jure war. Okay, that's noted. I do want to get this cast iron going. That is a little while a little while away. We're actually probably quite a bit closer to some of these other constructions here. Yes, indeed we are. So we would go with like the apiaries. Cool. Cast iron constructed in K-Bar. So there's another blacksmith finishing up here. Cool. Cast iron in Harat Rahat as well. So we could certainly go for a militia camp upgrade here. Over in K-Bar, things are going to be a little bit more expensive. Drainage channels finishing up in Medina. We just have overall a whole lot of construction to do yet. This is going to be a lot. Over in Ataif, we can get a cavalry going. And we are seeing some of these building on their own, like this one that just started an upgrade on their cattle ranches. That's great. I love to see that. We had another daughter. Have we had nothing but daughters? We have. But we have a bunch of pregnant wives right now. So hopefully that particular situation gets resolved. Now over here in Bisha, we know that the rest of this I think is fine. So we're going to upgrade our blacksmiths here. That has a long way to go. Yeah, uh, the lucky Bedouin coin... We have this equipped, do we not? That artifact is mine. Okay. We should probably think about repairing these. And we'll do exactly that. We still don't have a crown, but who needs a crown anyway? We'll get a barracks building here. Like, seriously, who needs a crown when you can build barracks? Stop wasting my time. We're not going to make any of these uh, trout ponds or anything. 
Demanding an artifact? No, get out of here. Cool. So, what else do we need to construct in? I mean, a lot of things. A lot of places need a lot of construction still. No doubt about that. Over in Medina, I would love to get another stables upgrade growing. That'll be great. We've got multiple that we personally hold that need to continue to build, including down somewhere. Ah, there's a sun. Perfect. Oh, it's this one. But that's actually done. This castle is complete. There's nothing more to do in this castle. Beautiful. That is our first fully completed castle. Over in K-Bar, we should definitely get apiaries going. This guy learned Arabic. Good for him. And in Yanbu, what do we want to upgrade? Probably the bathhouses, honestly. But that's very expensive. There's a crusade called for Jerusalem. Okay. That affects us. Wait, that was our spy master. He is the same. Okay. So we're going to go for this guy for our marshal then. Cool. We're also needing to continue to work on converting faith, which we will certainly do. So this crusade for Jerusalem is in 15 months. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. We've handled plenty of crusades. So far, nobody signed on to it. <laughs> that will change. That will definitely change. They'll sign on to it. It will be a problem. So Yanbu is going to need, at this point, a cattle pasture. Cool. Our mother died. That's not great. We just discovered Noblesse Oblige. No shockers there. What is being innovated next? Renaissance thought. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that one. That's absolutely okay. Demand artifact? No. Get out of here. Any other constructions to be done? Well, not in any of our personally held cities. Or not cities. Any of our personally held castles. So we're going to continue to upgrade our cattle pastures over here. Levying squares being done in, in Harat Rahat. And our troops are just getting stronger and stronger and stronger every second here. This crusade does mean that we don't want to launch any attacks out in India until the crusade is dealt with. That's for sure. So we'll hold off on that. This ransom is not acceptable. Not acceptable. These guys remain in prison. They rebelled. That's what they get. Okay, so next up we're going to take Hergelt for Vassal Tax Contribution plus 10%, bringing us up to 750 income per month. That's solid. This city is actually maxed out. We can build a Blacksmith upgrade over here. We can build a Camelry down this way. Bellows constructed in Bisha. We're going to continue to work on upgrading that, of course. We do need a Blacksmith upgrade over here. Demand Artifact to get out of here. This ransom is not acceptable, nor is this one, nor is this one, nor is this one. They're all our vassals, so no, that is not happening. No. Get out of here, kings. Cool. We just finished constructing corrals in Waj. We should certainly think about upgrading our barracks up here for our own personal power reasons, of course. All of these are vassals? No. No, we don't accept letting vassals go. Vassals do not get out of prison. Not right now, anyway. We've got this crusade launching in four months, and we'll have to deal with that. So, next up, I think we'll upgrade... This doesn't actually help us in terms of upgrading our cavalry. Nor does upgrading this barracks. So, it's just about the levies. I think we'll go for the military stables here... That's not actually going to increase our taxes either. Okay. We'll just go for the barracks. That's fine for now. Okay. Corrals in K-Bar. So K-Bar is getting close to maxed out. It's not there yet. We've got a lot of vassals trying to negotiate their release. Which is hilarious. And I'd love to get this barracks upgrading. We're waiting on the month tick on that. And this crusade is going to launch very shortly. So we'll have to deal with that. Any moment now on that month tick. There we go. Cool. So with the crusade launching, 
we're going to need to defend ourselves. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll deal with this crusade launching in 30 days. We should probably begin preemptively raising our forces very soon. But we're not quite there yet. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nix Marty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.